The Des Moines River is so low right now, you can see boats at Birdland Marina sitting in mud instead of water. All river levels across the state are dropping because of the drought conditions that have been dragging on for months now. If you've been to the city of Ames, you'll notice a big change along Iowa Creek. That's the main waterway that runs north and east of Iowa State's campus. The city's been clear cutting a lot of trees along that creek. WHO 13's Roger Riley went to check into the reason for this, and he joins us live from Ames. People miss seeing those big, beautiful trees, Roger. Uh, yeah, that's right. But uh, one thing they don't miss, Dan, is uh, a Duff Avenue that's flooded, and, and that's what we experienced here in Ames in 2010. But basically, uh, the, the, the creek here, they've got this project to uh, cut the trees, and then they're going to lower the floodwaters if and when this creek floods again. This project was identified after the 2010 floods. And as you may know, being from Ames, we have flooded severely in 93 and in 2010 with record floods, as well as other floods in 96 and 2008, as well as prior to 93. Now, this was a scene in uh, 2010, I mentioned, on Duff Avenue. I was there shooting this video. And that, and that day, the water came up very rapidly. Those names uh, may remember for a short time. You couldn't get in or out of the city. Now, it's almost as shocking as the flood was the sudden removal of the trees along the creek here near Duff and then just upstream. The city will also carve out the banks a little to hold more water and install some new native vegetation. And a majority of the water is coming from, you know, up in the watershed as well as um, in Ames with the storm sewers that lead to Iowa Creek. And so that water, it comes up very fast, but then it goes down relatively quickly. But the damage is so extensive when it does come up. West side of Duff, we're looking at a two foot drop in flood elevations, and it'll be a bit less on the east side, um, as you can imagine, with having the flows through the bridge be more um, efficient. Now this uh, whole project will cost the city $1.2 million and that's along with the uh, FEMA. They got 3.75 from FEMA to do this and the hope is that they'll work through this year and have it wrapped up by June of next year, Dan. And so they're not saying it's never going to flood again here along Duff, but if it does, hopefully the water will not be as high and do as much damage as we saw back here in 2010. Right, great job of illustrating what a recurring problem that has been for those folks in Ames. Roger Riley reporting live this mm -hmm. afternoon.